Hello everyone, it's me, one Gamer 54 back in another video. Today, today, we're going to be doing something completely different. You've already seen the title. We're going to be doing our own theory. Our own, yes. It's been a while since I did any theorizing about myself, so I figured, why not? Because something came up to me. I saw something that I think it's going to be really, really interesting, and I kind of want to discuss it with you guys. Considering that, you know, this Christmas, well, this month of December, I'm trying to get all the FNAF out of me. Considering that FNAF, the movie, is going to be on DVD next week. So, I'm going to need to start talking about it now. So, let me just bring my attention to you. This tweet right here. As it says, quote, Director Emma Tammy, the director who, you know, helped out in the, the first FNAF movie has confirmed that the Five Nights of Freddy's left a few open plot threads that needed to be tied up in the sequel, while also teasing the passing mention of Mike's last name and real identity of the movie, end quote. Now, that's kind of, that's interesting to say the least that they're saying that. The mention of Mike's last name, because for all we know, we keep calling him Mike Schmidt, but... I'm pretty sure in the movie, no one has ever referred to Michael as his last name. They never really said his full name. It's just Mike. So it's like, and it's the fact that they're calling it out the last name, as well as Michael's real identity. So what does that all mean? Well, how much time you got? Let's sit down and talk about it. So, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are already saying that this video was already over before it even began. Of course, it's Michael Afton, right? It's Michael Afton. I mean, you can't tell us that it's not Michael Afton. If it's not Michael Afton, it's Michael Emily. So, why is there anything to talk about? Well, honestly, yeah, that's what I thought so too. I mean... We've seen the story play out many times before. We already know that Michael Afton, yes, Afton, is the protagonist of all the games, you know, up till, up till Pizzeria Simulator. Now, we don't know why Michael, we don't know why Michael Afton decided to go with Mike Schmidt. Personally, a lot of people think that Mike Schmidt comes from is his maiden name because his mother supposedly her last name is Schmidt, but we never got any confirmation because to this day we don't know what happened to Michael's mother. We don't know. But the FNAF movie did try to tell us about Michael's mother, I believe. We do understand that. That Michael indeed has an aunt. A very unpleasant aunt at that. So. I'm not trying to say that it's possible that we could see the aunt in the games. Because let's be honest. I, I don't think so. I don't really think so. But it's, it's very interesting to see that we're getting more and more in Michael's life and hopefully we get to know more about what happened to his parents because all we ever seen about Michael and his parents in the movies are flashbacks now I could be missing some information it's been a while since I watched the FNAF movie and I tried not to talk about it to avoid spoilers but all I can remember from the FNAF movie is that Michael's parents only showed up in flash in flashbacks or mem or in the dream world where Michael was trying to figure out what happened to his little brother Garrett so it's possible that we could know more about Michael's parents at the sequel either the upcoming sequel FNAF 2 or it could even be the the finale it could have been the end of the trilogy so that's something but the possibility of Michael being an Afton, let's really think about this. Because it's interesting for me 
because a lot of people are saying that William could have simply left or abandoned Michael as a baby. As in, he just put Michael in a basket and just left. Because let's be honest, William is not making it to best father of the year. Oh no, nah, mommy. Oh no, nah, he's holding that worst father of the year award with pride. With pride right now. And it's like, it's interesting about, it's interesting because it's like the William Afton in the movie, he's so shocked. Like you saw his expression. He was appalled. He's surprised about his last name. He didn't even go out and say it. Now there's two possibilities of what could that mean? It's either one, Michael is in Dean and Afton and that means William is right now talking with his son, his son that he either gave away because of reasons or that he just abandoned and it's like ah crap it's like ah crap <sighs> he better not be asking me for the milk or it's the fact that it's possible that in this movie the roles are reversed because there's one thing you gotta take away about the movie the movie verse of FNAF yes it's trying to collect everything of FNAF's you know, past and present. Okay? It's taking elements. Because, let's be honest. The FNAF movie did twist the head of FNAF 1. Because we do got the FNAF 1 animatronics. That's good. That's good. We, we also got an officer named Vanessa. A name similar to that to a security guard that we encounter in Security Breach. And the fact that the villain of this is William Afton coming out with a spring bonnie suit. And, okay, and I guess this is huge spoilers for the movie. But after William Afton was defeated, we can pretty much tell that the sequel is going to tackle Springtrap. So that's FNAF 1, FNAF 3, and Security Breach put into one movie. Now, I'm not trying to say Vanessa is the same Vanessa that we're going to encounter in Security Breach, but it's interesting, to say the least, that the movieverse is compiling everything of FNAF's history to make a new one. And while I do enjoy that, it makes you know the movie more interesting, to say the least, for the new upcomers, it does, it does put into question that, hey... Events from one verse, aka the aka the movie verse, is gonna play out differently from the events of the book verse or the video game verse. So yeah. So it's possible that or it could be that Michael is indeed an Emily. He could might as well be an Emily. And William being shocked about it is like, wait. You're his son. You're him. Because... Really? Because it's really interesting. Because we are possibly going to get the puppet. Let's be honest. We're going to get the puppet. I mean, it's it's going to be crazy to see it at least if it, the puppet's not in, going to be in this in this movie series. Because the puppet is essentially one of those important characters that you can't left out. That's like saying having the movie without Golden Freddy. Which, technically, they did have Golden Freddy. So, it's like... Now, I could just... Dang. I, I, I don't know. I'm having a brain fart right over here. Now, I could go into many details about the puppet. I feel like that's going to be its own separate video because... Again, regardless of what we think, either we're, the sequel is going to introduce Charlotte, Emily, and the Emilies. I don't know. It could even bring, they could bring the Emilies into the fray, like Henry, his wife, sister. Who knows? Maybe the Emil, maybe the Schmiths are taking the role of the Emilies, and Matt Pat's fear was true, or it could be even possible that Garrett could also be the puppet. 
giving gifts, giving life to all those other children who suffered the same fate by the cruel monster known as William Afton. Now again, I'm going to save all that in a different video because honestly the puppet is one of those characters that needs its own, its own video to talk about. Especially when the movie, especially at the end credits, it's basically confirmed that we are going to see the puppet in movie two. So what I'm trying to take away is that what do you guys think? Is Henry is is Michael going to be revealed to be an Emily or an Afton? Are we trying to see the movie verse version of I am your father? Or is it something else? Regardless of which, I enjoy the I enjoy the movie. Really, I do. I enjoy the movie so much and I cannot wait to talk about it more. Especially, especially with it coming out next week. So anyways, that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the videos I know you guys enjoy. Comment down below what you think is going to happen in the sequel. You think Michael's going to be an Emily. You think Michael's going to be an Afton. Or whatever. And subscribe. We're trying to upload daily. This is Juan Gamer 54 signing off.